obviously you guys rotate a ton up front. So when it's your time to go in the game, how important is it to stay calm and not try to go so hard because you know that those opportunities are kind of limited? I mean, like, you always want to go hard and always give you 100% on the field, like, no matter if you're in the game or what the situation is. But, yeah, I mean, just knowing that we have all these guys, like, all these other D linemen in front of me and all that, it just knows, like, just give your all every single time on the field and you know someone's going to come get you if you get tired. David, I guess this is kind of the homecoming game for you. What's your, your kind of anticipation for, for oh, this one? I'm very excited for this game. Uh, get all the fam gets to come, uh, my friends from back home in high school, coaches. So it's going to be it's be fun to be back home and just be back in the in the, the stadium that I always went to with my dad watching the Panthers game growing up. So it would be cool. Yeah, sort of building off that, you know, Tennessee's obviously having some recruiting success in North Carolina, you know, aside from just Proximity? Is there any certain reason you think Tennessee's able to go in there and get some good players? Uh, I mean, that, that's a big role. I mean, it was, a, it was a big role for me, a big factor for me. But I mean, we just want to play for, we want to play for the SEC, and that's the best one around. So that's where I choose to go, and that's where my guy Dave and all them chose to go to. So a little connection there. David, from what you felt like you've done and then also what the coaches have said, wh where have you made the most improvement? What specific areas? I would say I made my most improvement just really, really just under like understanding the playbook now so I can play fast. I don't play cautious no more. Just I know what I'm doing now, so no more excuses. Just I know what I'm doing. Just keep playing fast. I think James Pierce played maybe like a half an hour away from you. How aware of you uh, were you of him when he was playing, and that did that impact you coming here at all? Oh, I mean, I lived three minutes from James High School, so I was that was one of the schools I was thinking about going to. But I mean, I knew who James was. I mean, it wasn't really a, a factor in me coming here, but I knew who James was. A lot of my boys went to that school too, so that was cool. David, I think. Coach Coach Garner was talking to in camp about how when you first came in, you were practicing at, at end, and then you ended up moving inside. Or do you feel like you, you think that was going to be the path for you at Tennessee? And how how much have you had to adjust to play defensive tackle? I mean, no, that wasn't the path I thought. But I'm not complaining. Just just me playing tackle. Uh, he's been talking. Just I get a little bit of end reps here and there. So just and then I play nose too. So I can just do whatever. So just my big thing in my mind, just versatility, just keep doing everything. Just don't go against what coach is saying. Just keep going with it. It's like coach G, he's the, he's the goat. So I'm just listening to him, what he says. NC State obviously has a decent running back in Jordan Waters. Just kind of what are you guys preparing for those skilled players, especially in the run game? Uh, yeah, just listening to the coaches and all of our game plans, uh, just dialing in on that, all the little stuff, have the right technique. If we have the right technique, I mean, we've, we've shown through fall camp in this first game that we're a pretty dominant D-line. So we just do what we're supposed to do. That's, that's going to be our little game plan. For, for you just being in year two, how, how much of a jump do you feel like you've made and, and just you know, being going from a two-sport guy, you know, spl splitting your time and, and doing different things on the football field to now focusing, how much has that helped you just being in year two? Oh, yeah. I feel like a big thing is my IQ. So, like, now, like, last year I was just now working into it really just – that was really my first year just taking football serious, like just football. So I did a lot of learning last year. So now I feel like all that learning is starting to pay off now and becoming a better and better player each day. Who are some guys in that D-line room that have really impressed you in what they can do and then also maybe some other guys that have really improved? Uh, I mean, every single day, I mean, I got Omar and Bryce working three times. I watch every single time they film, they're on the field. I'm always watching them and see what they do because they're two, two, two of the, the best three techs in college football, in my opinion. So them in my room, I can just watch them, learn off them. They do a good job of – like teaching me, whatever they see, they come tell me. So just learning off them. And then I would say like someone else that has impressed me. I mean, I mean a lot of our a lot of our young guys like Tyree Weathersby, Caleb Heron, Jordan Ross, Robin, Nathan Robinson, I mean all of them. We all like putting putting on all this work and watching all these older guys do it. So now we're 
Like, we're doing better and better and good and good. So now then we're getting good. So it's, it's, it's exciting to see.